So today's video we're going to be talking about driving straight into a car park space and trying to stop straight in between the lines. People generally find this difficult for a few different reasons and the main reason would be that they try to take it too narrow and they don't give the car enough room to swing into the car parking space. And another reason why people find this difficult is because they don't know when to steer the wheel uh, as in their point of steer. But that's something I'm gonna cover in a few minutes. So personally, I wouldn't really recommend driving into a parking spot compared to reversing into a spot. The reason being, it's really hard to get back out of a spot, especially if you've parked beside a bigger car or a van and it's busy, it's Saturday evening and you're trying to reverse out of a spot in a busy shopping centre, it can be really difficult to get back out. Before we go any further, if you would like to book lessons with myself or one of the team, uh, please click the link in the description and fill in the form and hopefully I'll be able to help you out. There's a ton of other helpful links in there, like 25 euro off your forced car rental with go car as well. So that's all in the description below. So this is the main reason why you can't park straight in a parking spot. I'll show you what people tend to do and it's it's impossible to park straight if you do it like. But the main thing here is you have to pick your spot first, all right? So just imagine you know what spot you're going into and I'm going into this one on the left here, anyone, and I'm gonna pick this one here and from here, see the way you like, I'm right beside the car parking spaces. I try to steer in. And look what look look what way my car is parked now. There's no way I'm gonna be able to park straight if I take it narrow like that. The car needs enough room to kind of swing and straighten up. Alright. So if you try to drive into a parking spot like that, you'll never have the time to straighten the car up. It's always going to be crooked in the parking spot. And you don't want to leave your car like that, especially on a really busy day. It's really inconsiderate for the other people using the car park. And a lot of the time, they will let you know about it as well. So now a much better way to do that would be take it a lot wider, as in move over onto the right hand side of the road and then try to swing into your spot and then straighten up. Now obviously we have to make sure it's safe for us, there can't be any oncoming cars because I'll be coming onto the wrong side of the road. Also make sure there's nobody coming around the outside here from behind as well. So here we go. So I'm going to pick one of them spots on the left. So first of all, I'm going to, I know there's nothing coming so I'm going to check my right mirror, I'm going to move out and use as much as this side of the road as you can and then you're going to straighten up and then you're gonna swing into this spot here. Now check your left mirror yet, and just look into the spot. And then once you're straight, you can stop, straighten your wheel, and go straight into the spot. So now I'm gonna tell you about the most important part is when to steer. Now all cars and makes and models are different. Uh, personally, I think this car like steers like an old van. Uh, but the likes of your Polo and your i20 would have a much better kind of, they'd have a little bit more steering. So it's very important that you get used to your car. But I'll show you the point of steer in this car. So now I'm going to show you when to steer. So this, all cars are different, so just get, get used to your car. So I'm going to just get my front wheel and my mirror, just imagine me mirror into the spot. I'm going to lock my wheel to the left and I'm going to hold the wheel and then I can still just about see the lines a little look out the window there and when you're straight stop and then straighten the wheel and straight into the spot so when you're practicing this go forward too much and try steer into the spot and you will be able to ease yourself you'll be able to walk backwards because it's easier to fix if you go too far compared to if you don't go far enough. So I'll show you what I mean now. I'm going to try park beside this blue car but now I'm going to bring my front wheel much further into the spot and I'm going to try swing in and now I can see I'm not going to make it so I'm just going to stop. And now all I do is go into reverse, lock my wheel to the left, a little look around and I can see I'm getting into the lines, I'm going to stop I'm going to go into drive or forced and then I'm just going to just guide it in and then we're going to see the line and straighten up and stop. 
Just remember, if you are going to do that, if you don't think you're going to fit, don't chance it. Just stop, go into reverse, and just take another little bite at it. And the more you get used to the size of your car, the easier it will get to be able to judge the, the, the nose of your car. And now it's time to reverse Elvis spot. So now, the trick here with reverse Elvis spot, you don't want to lash a load of steer on from here. Because what will happen is, the front of your car is going to swing and hit the car either side of it. So the best way to do that is to just go into reverse, do your big look around. Now if, you, if visibility is poor, you have to go really slowly. If you have a camera fair enough, but I wouldn't recommend using it compared to looking around. You can use it with everything else. Now the trick, just give yourself a little bit of stare. And we're just going to reverse out. I'm checking my back window, just like the reverse around the corner. I still don't want to stare too early. And when it looks like my left mirror is just past this car here, as if the left mirror is going to miss it, I'm going to lock my wheel to the left. And once I know I have enough space there, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go into force that I drive. And then I'm going to undo the steering. And then I'm going to straighten up and drive out.